What is going on, fellow Wastelanders? Shock Radio here. We are live with the new uh, Enemy in Reflection update. I just want to point out a few things that are in the patch notes that were not in the, uh, the, the future patch notes videos from the other day, as well as they have tried to fix the oldest relic in the game, and they broke it. So we're going to show that to you guys. So here in the miscellaneous, they have changed the weekly challenge, earned 1,000 points for battles and brawls, 100 engineer badges. Now it is a chain of challenges. Long story short, you are going to get more engineer badges for your brawl challenges. 100 engineer badges for one, 150 engineer badges for another. So they increased the weekly uh, badges we can earn. They have made some improvements to map the bridge map. They removed rocks in the passes, which, which could lead to vehicles uh, flipping over a lot. They optimized a bunch of maps for armored aircraft as well, and they've increased the artillery damage on the fortress map in PvP, so pretty cool. They also did some things down here, here uh, in the interface. You can now search for parts by their size, so if you want a 3x3 part, you can go in uh, to your parts and actually search for parts by their dimensions, all right? So pretty, pretty awesome. Um, we're going over things really quick here. <coughs> Xbox voice chat has been delayed. Uh, improve the behavior of AI bots and armored aircraft. Now, they did fix a bunch of bugs, so we're going to go over these pretty quick. The perk of the whaler cabin that increases the speed of projectiles does not work with projectiles that fly on a plunging trajectory. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Artillery. So, artillery does not work with the whaler cabin. So, that was a bug before. I guess mandrakes and things would work with the whaler. Absolutely OP. Fixed a bug with the incorrect spawning of teams on the east quarter map in the clan confrontation mode. Map has been returned uh, to the modes of rotation. So we, we got uh, east quarter in clan confrontation. Movement parts did not interact with destructible objects. Interesting. No biggie there. Oh, dude. This one absolutely killed me. Fixed a bug with an extra invisible wall on the bridge. Good googly moogly. Fixed a bug where the setting bar for the desired frame rate did not appear in the graphic settings immediately after enabling uh, the resolution mode, but only after re-entering the settings menu. So this uh, this extra invisible wall on the bridge map, that got me so bad in clan battles last week. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was so pissed off about it. Anyway, fixed a number of bugs with environmental objects on a bunch of these maps. So yeah, they, they fixed a bunch of stuff. Fixed animation of holding the charge on the kaiju weapon. They, they fixed a few things, guys. But, but... Let's talk about this uh, porcupine uh, issue. So now the projectiles that have their own physics, those of Fortune, Young, Wang, and Porcupine explode upon contact with teammates, but do not deal damage to them. So what is the problem here? Uh, Tarjim? Uh, Gaijin? You know, this is great. This is the best update in the freaking planet because I am sick of flipping on porcupine barrels, and this is what we needed like six years ago, guys. But here's the problem. Here is the problem. There's no more Fuego! You took away the fire puddle! So now there's no more fire puddle with porcupines. Enemies or team, porcupines don't leave a fire puddle. So uh, if you don't own porcupines, uh, enjoy never seeing porcupines another day in your life in the wasteland until they fix this bug. Uh, but if you do own porcupines, uh, if you have a phone, you have a lawyer. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, they're broken for now. I'm sure Tarjim obviously did not mean uh, for this to happen. So they will probably fix it, I am sure. So anyway, those are it for the, uh, the some of the things that I noticed that were different with this update. There's probably a little bit more in there. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you noticed any other changes. But without further ado, we're going to check out the cryo weapons and play a few matches of PvP to see how the cryo weapons are now. The first build we're going to try, the narwhals have been buffed, so they are going to heat parts faster, which should allow them to do more damage as well, which is pretty awesome. So we got the Hadron for reload on this one with the two narwhals, yada yada yada, we got engines, we got hovers, you know what it is. And for our Jotun build, we're going to use the Jotuns on a Hadron with some hovers and the uh, Jotun cryogenic weapons. We got the Yeti stealth, we got some King Mines, and we're just going to see if we can lay some Ice Puddles all over the wasteland. So let's get into some PvP and try these cryo weapons after the big buff. Alright, we're here on the Ashen Ring map, ladies and gents. We are going to be trying out the old Jotun. See if we can do some damage with this new... 
Bob, damn it! I got in my way. I had to be able to hit someone twice in a row to see see what kind of damage it's doing. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty good. I mean, I remember these being really like feeling very uh, weak uh, when I was trying them the other day. So that's not too bad. Let's see if we can get another one. And someone's got fortunes in this lobby, and they keep shooting at me to show me that hey, they explode on impact the teammates now. That's kind of cool. That was a team bot. Okay, we're just not gonna. We're gonna ignore that. I can't see. Oh, we got 700 right there. That was pretty good. Oh, another like close to 700. That was. Get him out of cloak there for the team. Bam! Oh, that was 860. Oh, that was a miss. I feel like they're hitting more consistently. Oh, that's a good shot. Although against these beefy ass breaker box builds, damn it! I'm fighting an OP cereal box. Help! I'm being taken away by an art build. Oh, my team's dying! My team's dying, boys! Oh! I'm being beat by my own weapon! Grace! I need you, Grace! Oh! My hovers! Oh! Oh! Alright, come here, Breaker Brick! Damn it! Damn the Breaker Brick meta right now. Alright, well, no one can have fun in the game. I see how it is. I see how it is. All right, we are here on the factory map, trying out the recently fused narwhals, seeing if we can deal some more damage out there. Of course, the buff is against icy targets, so uh, we gotta actually hit icy targets, so I think this would be much better if I had a team of uh, cryo friends, you know what I'm saying? Oh, doggy! Draco dog! Help! Help! I need a medic! I need a medic! All right, all right, you know what? All right, we are on the Ravager's foothold here. Trying out our Icy Delight weapons, already shooting ourselves with the Narwhal cannons. Perfect. Yes, 289. I love the uh, accuracy of these cannons. If you're not a very accurate player, these are awesome. Their drop is extremely minimal, if not non-existent for the most part. So, uh, you know, don't let Tarjum know that because they'll be nerfing that sh soon. But, yeah, the accuracy of these things is very awesome. I wish Typhoons were. I had kind of this much accuracy. Not that I'm doing it any justice shooting this match, but the accuracy, nonetheless, is uh, pretty on point. Oh, 600 through the crack right there. Let's go. Let's get it. Ah, at the wall. I'm trying to get some, some peaky peak shots going, you know? There's a peaky peak shot. Ah, I thought he was going to strafe a little bit more. What is this? Get out of my way. Oh, no, he's hot. Now he's cold. He's dead. So to my knowledge, the hot and the cold kind of cancel each other out. I think the hot takes precedent. It doesn't really cancel each other out. Just like parts are hot. Cold doesn't do cold things. So we don't really want to hit hot parts. We want to be trying to hit icy parts because that's where we're going to do most of our damage. Although that's kind of debatable because the narwhals do more damage to heated parts. Oh, dude, this guy's... Oh, that, dude, I, thought, <laughs> I thought he was shooting me with cyclones. That's a teammate. Okay. Map awareness shock. Map awareness. 48. What are these, typhoons? Ah, corpse got in my way. This match is going pretty well, not gonna lie, but we're not getting like pushed by any damn dogs, finally. A match without dogs is great. The reload on these things is nutty. I'm literally just firing just because I can most of the time, and it's working out, not gonna lie. Pow! You feeling the power of winter? Winter is coming! Yes. Fear the power 
of the frost. I really do like these narwhals though. These are by far my favorite weapon from the battle pass. The Scotty is really cool too, but we everyone knows we don't need no more dogs, so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna skip out on the Scotty. Get him, boy! Whoa, whoa! Get him! Good boy! Get him! Get him! Good doggy! <laughs> awesome! Narwhals are pretty nice after the update. Not gonna lie, guys, you just gotta watch out for dogs. They are vicious. All right, we're on the bridge map, people. We have a range advantage. But we do, we have the skills. reptiler 21 qc is in the house. Bro, he's actually a really good dog player. Um, I know you guys are like, oh, really good dog player? Funny, shock. No, I think he's a good dog player. There is such a thing as good dog players, you know. Oh, he's going to get my boy. Is he going to go for my boy? Oh, we got Hannah. Did we get Hannah? We got Hannah. Sit in it. Embrace the frost. Thank God, Hannah. I love bots so much against these kind of weapons. They like, they're like clueless. They're like, wait, we're on fire? Bro, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. <laughs> Why aren't you dead yet, Hannah? Damn it. 4K. 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 Reptile is like, bro, you got to get in there. He's like, you got to go. You got to go. I don't like dogs anymore. I thought he was a good dog. Instead, he's, he's just... Uh, that and not friend not friend. You're not my friend anymore Tyler. That was rude. I Feel like that was slightly intentional <laughs> That seemed intentional. Let me know in the comments below if you think uh, my friend uh, Tyler there just ended my life just to be a jerk All right, we've got our Yoltons which I am terrible at using so far today and we are on the chemical plant map Let's see if I can Make it rain some ice for our team here. Damn it, Daniel. We're just laying fire. I am the worst at throwing incinerators type of weapons. Oh, wait, we got someone here maybe? A little icy. Oh no. I wanna get that spider again. I'm sacrificing myself too much for these hits though. Almost 1k on that spider. Let's go. Yes! Feel the power of the frost! Oh, that spider's not having a good time. Oh, I'm about to not have a good time too, though. Oh, we got him again! <laughs> do we need cap cans for this kind of build? I feel like we kind of do. Yes! Sit in the ice! Oh, this is actually a decent match. I'm not getting like the insane, insane numbers, but you know, to be fair, they're not like, it's not AB8s, so it's not, oh, this build, this build, oh, he just left. What happened? Did he just self debt This is also a bit of a random build off exhibition, but it looked really nice. Uh, thanks, Goy Goy, for making this build. If you're watching this video, pretty cool looking build here. That wasn't too bad. We did some damage. I mean, we were at the bottom of the barrel, though. Good lord. We need to practice. I think the Yoltons have potential. Uh, we we just need to uh, tap into our potential. But anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I think the cryo weapons are actually pretty dang awesome now. Uh, I need to play more with the Yotans. I absolutely suck with them. I, I played like four matches. I think I'm going to put one match in this video for you guys because I was just, it was it was bad times for me and the Yotan. But I think the Yotan's really good. I really like the Narwhal. However, I feel like you need a whole team of cryo weapons when you're using these weapons. What do you guys think in the comments below about mainly the cryo weapons that we tried out a little bit today? The porcupine uh, bug, you know, all that. Uh, did they did they try to fix the game and break it, you know, like most developers are doing these days? Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate everybody, and I will see you guys in the next video.